So the numbers don't lie. Whether it's your social security number, your house number, the car number. By looking at the car number, you can say a lot about what's going on in that person's life. Well, quite unique conversation you do not want to miss. Hi everyone, this is Jaya Karam Chanani. Welcome to the channel. Just thought of sharing with you how to tell a lot about someone just by looking at the card number. In for a treat, before I go about quickly, write down what is the card number. Now, here are two things, whether you drive or it's your family car. Write down the card number. Now, each number says a lot, but why card number? Because many a time folks come for consultations, they just say, what car number should I go for? And if you have seen in many cultures, the car numbers align with their birth numbers. And even people pay premium to get the car numbers, triple seven, triple four, triple eight, or whatever you call. Well, here is what I'll say. Whatever car number you're going, where you need to separate is, is that your business or is that your profession? If, or, when I say profession, you work in a corporate job or you own a small store, that's your car. You're using for your personal and professional versus for business. Businesses, you are just giving the cars, you have someone else driving for you. I'm not saying where you have your support, you have a chauffeur. Where I'm saying is you're driving the car for your own work. Car numbers. If your car number is one, I have seen often these are the folks where the cars will be of the lighter color, the silver color, off-white, white, and too often, trust me, I have seen golden color cars. Well, up to you. With the car number one, what does it say? This person often changes the cars. And this person likes to show off more and boast a lot. Now, this is my research. You may go about sharing here, share in fact in comments, What's your car number? If it's one, what is it like? These people like to show off and take the credit. Number one, they like to stand out. And if your car number is two, you would see either a big SUV or a big van where the family is in or these other people like to go for the larger cars or they are more family oriented, maybe family run business. These are the people, their cars may be a little unkept. No judgment, but just an observation. And if the car number is three, you will see these are the people, the cars will be decked up, decorated, as if it's going for some ceremony. They love to even do the interiors in a different colors and mismatch. They may have beautiful rims done on their cars. They like to stand out in their own way. These are the people, the car can very well be called a restaurant on the go. They may have a lot of their munchies and meals in the car stocked up. They may have their whole wardrobe stocked up. But number three is that these people have many cars. It's one of the cars which they use and this might be the one which is unkept. Number four car number. Now these are the people, they will go for the high-end cars or whatever brand cars they have, they will keep it very clean. They don't want the cars to get dented or scratched. Additionally, the colors I have seen, they may go for the black or the gray or the darker shade. Even if, if it's the mark, it will be more on the darkest shade. The number four folks I have seen, they like to drive the car in a certain way. They don't want to go over speed or go under speed or in a certain way. They may take the same route. They may... I'll just hold it. Okay. <laughs> They may take the same route to work every day. That's just how it is for number four. And you will notice that their GPS is turned on. They sit in the same way. They put the coffee mug and then they start. That's number four if the car number adds to four. And if it's number five, well, these people are adventurers. They are off to their office and suddenly they'll say, I got to stop for a Starbucks coffee. Well, a friend calls. You're meeting me, yes, they will take a detour. These are the people, they are party hoppers. They do not like to stay at home, they go all about. If your car number adds to five, here is one thing. 
you like to party a lot but you love salads as well and you are a talker you are unhappy if you're not invited to a party your car can vouch to that if it's number 6 oh you love your car the most latest and the greatest the best car in the market you want to be the first one to own that car and even at your home you want your house to just look perfect the most beautiful house around the block everything high end whether how you dress up or whether it's your car you want the world to know what you think what your thought is and what you own these cars are high end cars another big thing about number 6 cars they may have many cars and they are very particular about who drives the car and how the car is kept when it comes to number 7 car number these people do not reveal what they are thinking be careful they are great observers they research a lot lot of analytical mind and they think ahead of the time let me know what's your car number if it's 7 these people may be into project management data analysts data scientists movie producers or directors or the creative writers or the monks or the motivational speakers or these people will be in a party but they will observe everyone but they will only speak when they want to number 8 here comes number 8 that they like to show they are so ambitious they want the world to know they have arrived whether it's in the business personal life professional life or they are the one they will be crying a lot about their problems the life gives them a lot of struggles but here is the thing number 7 shines by sheer hard work number 7 is upside infinity not and that's the secret if your car number is 8 you own a business work with a large corporation or with a business house have lot of savings or you manage lot of finances i would say venture capitalists number 8 are hard workers let me know if that's your car number and if it comes to 9 well have you seen the monk who drives ferrari these people have the heart of a monk they'll be doing good in the corporate job they'll be doing everything they need they have but they still want to go give back to the world only when they serve they feel fulfilled but they are highly ambitious when it comes to work and getting things done they can take excuses let me know what's your car number now these attributes will align if you had the car 6 plus months if you just got the car again the number takes some time for the vibrations to align to you let me know if you have driven the car number 1 7 or 6 and is that 